For many, zero emission vehicles like electric cars still seem like they belong in the future. For people like Yvonne Young and her children, however, they're simply a daily reality, and fossil fuel vehicles seem like they're already a thing of the past. Leo, my son, who is four years old, this is probably the only car he, he's known. We would stop at gas stations for bathroom breaks and he would be like, what are these cars doing here? Like, oh, they're filling up gas. So for him, that's quite a foreign concept. You know, you gotta stop to fill up gas because as far as he know, you come home, you plug it in and you just go the next day, yeah. The vehicle's reliance on batteries rather than fossil fuels is the biggest selling point to people hoping to cut down their own CO2 emissions, but that carries its own challenges for EV owners. Charge times are still relatively lengthy, and Wu Yang says her EV curious friends are still concerned over range limits. Concerns, she says, will be easily overcome in time. I think seeing people around you being committed to the decision does encourage people. I actually, uh, my dad uh, is thinking about getting an electrical vehicle was his next vehicle as well, and also because he seemed to drive well. Yeah. Yeah, beach oh, buggy. Oh, beach buggy. All right. You see? The number of EVs in Canada is still relatively small. Only around 54,000 were registered last year, 3.5% of the total. But that number has been growing steadily, as has the number of charging stations across Canada, which currently sits at around 6,000. Charge times are improving slowly as well, another factor which will likely lure EV skeptics. More EVs, however, means more demand for batteries, and that can be a serious hurdle as the world turns away from fossil fuels. Batteries rely on metals like lithium, cobalt or nickel. Not only are those in short supply, mining them is bad for the environment. Lithium-ion batteries themselves can also include toxic elements, making them ill-suited for the landfill and hard to recycle. One of the big challenges is that Lithium ion batteries contain elements that are flammable and that's what makes it more difficult to just apply you know, a, a dry shredding technique like you might take an alkaline battery uh, because of that volatility. Kunal Palfer is the chief commercial officer here at Lycycle, a specialized lithium ion battery recycling plant right here in Canada, in Kingston, Ontario. It's one of several across North America, and the company has developed a specialized recycling process that minimizes the risk to workers and the environment. First, batteries are sorted, then shredded, then dropped into a chamber filled with a special solution that allows workers to separate the battery into usable components. Here's the end result. First, shredded bits of copper and aluminum, easy enough to reuse. Next, this stuff. Lycycle staff call it the black mass, a mixture of lithium, nickel and cobalt with the consistency of half-baked cookie dough. Eventually, it'll go on to a central hub where it'll be further refined using a special wet chemistry process, so the materials can be put back into the battery ecosystem. Lycycle says they can recover as much as 98% of materials this way, and unlike other kinds of battery recycling methods, it doesn't require any heat and doesn't produce any emissions itself. And the more those rare metals are recycled, the less need there'll be to mine new sources. It's not going to completely supplant the need for, for new mined resources, but as we grow and then recycling capacity grows, then you can start to make a bigger dent uh, down the road in, in the need for new resources to be mined. Lycycle's warehouse is packed with lithium-ion batteries of every kind, not just from EVs, and it's not getting emptier. Researchers around the world are working on new, more sustainable battery types, but for now, as EV ownership grows by leaps and bounds, this kind of intensive recycling process can help ease the battery bottleneck. Maybe you're a better driver, right? I can't wait until you can drive me around. Yay!